Hello and welcome back to Peaches McLean Travels Through the Galaxy. I'm Tyler again, and last time I asked you guys whether we wanted to go and join the light side or the dark side, and overwhelmingly you all said that we were going to go dark side. So I have no issue with that. We are going to go dark side. We are going to do everything self-serving and follow the path of evil. Now that does mean that sometimes we might have to make some light decisions, but Overall, we are going to try to be as evil as possible to help Peaches be McLean become the most powerful Dark Jedi in Dark Jedi history. Alright, well without further ado, let's go back to where we were. So last time we left off, we had just landed on this planet called Terrace after escaping on the, uh, the ship that we were on. Uh, we woke up, we were confused, and we have just woken up in this apartment where Karth, the world's worst person... Um, though he has helped us out a little bit, Karth has told us that it is now our duty to go find this Jedi named Bastila. So we are going to go and start our adventure. I do not know where this episode is going to end. I'm just going to sort of travel around and uh, we're going to see what we can do. All right, so let's keep moving. So guys, I had a lot of fun recording the first one, and I right, really love the feedback. Scum. Uh oh. Everybody, get up against okay. the wall. This is a okay. rain. There's a patrol here just yesterday and they found nothing. Why do you Sith keep bothering us? Oh my god! Oh dear, that's what's up. That's a Peaches and Clan move right there. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. It's like he knows that he's Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Uh oh. They found me, guys. A reminder, Flurry is really the only attack worth doing. So we're just going to keep playing. Oh, wow, that's bad. Poor Ixgil, he should never talk back to the Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. Uh... There we go. This is the sort of dark th thing to say. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you too. Forgive me, human. I only wanted to thank you. I meant no harm. I will leave you in peace. Don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the sh Sith off the track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Oh, what the heck? That wasn't dark side points. I was just mean to that guy for no reason. So what's going to happen when I get dark side points is it's going to say, you are more evil than nice. Thank you once again, human, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Okay. Low security door. That means we're going to switch to Karth because he can open the security doors, I think. Maybe if he doesn't suck at everything. Oh, look at that. He can. Dia. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. Uh, yes, I can. I'm going to say I was just looking for something to steal and stay out of my way and you won't get hurt. Because Peaches McClain does what Peaches McClain wants. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting... I'm going to steal some stuff. Sure. I'm going to make sure that Peaches is the one that loots things. Because Peaches... Oh, I have nothing worth stealing. That's eight whole credits, man. That's like one-eighth of a grenade, maybe. I don't remember what grenades cost in this game. Larim... Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown old apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Zarim, by the way. Uh, I don't care what your name is. And I'm not telling you that I'm Peaches McLean. Karth wants us to keep a low profile. I know people like their privacy. It's just that I might be able to help you out. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of these new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. Uh, I know all about energy shields. You think I don't know about energy shields? I don't know about energy shields. Uh, oh, he's got them for sale. It's not cheap. Could be the difference between life and death. Can I kill you? Uh, let's see what you got for sale. Um, let's see, you got a heavy combat suit. That kind of looks nice. It's exactly the amount of money I've got. Uh, these are all light armor proficiency. Um, uh, ooh, vibra blades. Let's see, what we? we're going dual weapon using here. If you recall correctly. So if I can sell some things, I might be able to get some vibra swords out of this guy. Um, oh, these are, I'm just going to sell these because I'm not going to use them. 
I have these two Viper Blades. I'm going to sell one, and then I'm going to buy a Viper Sword. Oh, yeah. More than 100 credits. I still want it. Boom. Got it. Now we're going to go to my inventory. we got a prototype Viper Blade and a Viper Sword. Boom. Looking good. And I can put this combat suit on. Man. I'm getting, getting beefed up. Ready to kill some stuff. Look at me. I'm ready to kill that room right here. There's just a door in. I don't want to talk to me. Bash this door in because I can do whatever I want. Boom. I'm Peaches McLean. I bash doors in. Ooh, a Twi'lek. She's all by herself in this room. She's probably going to tell me off in this really obnoxious tone. Let's see what she does. Oh. Take whatever I want. She won't try to stop me. That's a little inappropriate. Yeah, it sounds like she almost wants me to steal from her, so I don't really... I don't really appreciate that. I want to steal from people who don't want to be stolen from. So that's to the upper city. We don't want to go there yet. We want to keep exploring these apartments because we might be able to find something cool in here. Maybe some opportunities to, like, just kill some innocent people, which is apparently what you guys want me to do. Uh, there's a bag over here that I'm just going to go ahead and loot and steal whatever this guy's got. A couple credits. A lot of eight credit owners here. He's got nothing. Oh, my gosh. But we do have something. Okay, on, we're moving, on, we're moving, nothing in there. Twilek over here, will she talk to me? No, I hate these languages they gave them, because, like, I wouldn't mind if they were, like, legit languages, but they're just not. It's just the same, like, sound bite over and over again, and I think that's kind of a cop-out and kind of annoying. Uh, med pack, parts, credits. These get a lot of, a lot of good stuff in these chests, so if you're ever playing through this game again, I'd recommend just searching around the apartments because apparently there's a lot of useful things. A janitor right here. Ooh. Oh, uh, I'll walk wherever I want. Pigeon McLean is that's holy footing. All right, everywhere I step is perfect. Yes, you are beneath me. Yes. We'll see who has the last laugh then. Now, if you ain't gonna be civil, then I got work to do. This place doesn't clean itself, you know. Well, guys, that was a conversation with the janitor. I know you guys wanted me to, like, talk to the people a little bit more and, like, listen to what they had to say, but I think that that was a waste of time. Um, I know that Karth is getting a little frustrated with the way I talk to people, which is fine, because Karth is a punk. And we don't care what Karth has to say. Uh, I don't like Karth. Karth is annoying. Karth is like barging in telling me how to do my own thing. Like, excuse me, bro. This is my adventure. You're just here for the ride. Okay? I know you think it's your adventure because, you know, from your perspective, it is your adventure, but it's my adventure. So if I'm not mistaken, there are opportunities to get some dark side points right off the bat out here. Um, I know I should be going straight and doing whatever's over there, but I think there's... Yeah, if you look over here, there's two bounty hunters antagonizing a guy. And you can just, like, kill that guy and collect his bounty. And that is dark side points, which is what we're going to do, because Peach and McLean shows no mercy! So what we got going on here is this guy named Davik is like a crime boss, and he doesn't like when people miss payments. Um, and this guy is in debt. This guy right... Oh, I can't show you the person. Um... So, essentially, they're killing him because... I don't know why. Oh, I better teach them a lesson. Ah! Ah! Peter McLean literally takes... Shows no mercy. This man says he owes me his life and he can't pay him back. Alright, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, we can just kill this guy. Yeah, hand over your credits if you want to live. Dark side points, kid. We didn't kill him or get his credits, but if you notice, we do get 50 credits from these guys. They could have helped him out. Boom, we got dark side points, so we are officially on the path to evil. We're ready to kill younglings, you know what I'm saying? Um, so Peaches McLean takes no prisoners, shows no mercy. Kills all whom he can. He's got a license to kill, truly. He's like James Bond, but Peach is McLean. 
So we're going to keep exploring this city. And there's a little shop right here. And I love when they've got a little shop. Especially near hospitals. That's where I like little shops the best. I don't care what your name is. Yurt? That's a tent. That sounds intense. <laughs> intense. <laughs> Doesn't make sense if we called her in yurts, though. <laughs> See what she's got for sale. So you, know, the prices on the items are final. No you don't have to tell me that. This is a video game. The prices are final anyway. Alright, so she's got this Bonadon Alloy Heavy Suit, which is 900 credits. But it's really nice. But I want to get some, some armor for Homeboy over here. We want the highest possible max dexterity bonus for Karth, because... He's a bad guy, you know, he's just not that great of a shot. He needs a dexterity bonus. So it looks like we can get this uh, combat suit, and that does plus 5 dexterity. Or max plus 5. I don't know what that means, that like it maxes out at plus 5 dexterity. But we'll do that. So we're going to sell his long sword, sell his vibra blade, sell his blaster pistols, and his ion blaster. Where did I get all this cool stuff? Okay, so I sold all that stuff. And now we can buy the combat suit, boom, and if we want, we might be able to, I'm going to let you guys vote on this if you want me to do two-bladed weapons. I personally like dual wielding more than two-bladed weapons, um, but, you know, if you guys are like, man, I really want to see Peaches McClane kill somebody Darth Maul style, then, you know, we can talk about it. We can have that discussion, but I am not, I'm not just going to jump right into that. I'm going to pick up a few frag grenades because there is a part in this game coming up where you need to have grenades. So I just bought as many as I could. Um, because we're going to have to kill a ranger here just a little bit. And that's going to be a challenge. Um, there's a Sith Trooper over here. What is over here? What does the guy want? Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Your job is to stand by the door and answer my questions, jerk. You are a door... Oh, I leveled up. Level up. Skills. Reminder, always repair and treat injury. That is all Peaches McLean does. He repairs things and he treats injuries. That's his whole thing. We're going to go ahead and put a point in toughness because uh, Peaches McLean is a tough guy. Alright, and that's going to be that. Yeah, that's that's all we got to do here. Um, we will notice as we go darker, we like get a little pale. Um, which is kind of cool. And like we'll like start to brood. Something seems to be bothering Karth. I'll speak to Karth. What do we want to know, Karth? Uh, I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malik's fleet. The Sith bombed mm. into submission, and there wasn't a mm. damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just asking, Karth. I didn't really care about all that you just said. You're the one who wanted to know more about. Them. Whoa! This is it. This is what I am. I'm okay. Just I go with the fleet admirals tell me to. Oh I my goodness! My orders and I do my duty. Okay. And it's just. Whoa. <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I I didn't. I did mean to upset you, so I'm not going to say that. Uh, yeah, why are you getting so mad at me? This wasn't my fault. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that of it. I must not be making much sense. You're not. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much at all. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. All so right. Let's just do that. Well, you, you were the one that looked like something was bothering you. So that's why I talked to you, you jerk. And you updated my journal. So you just fill in my phone with, with memory, and it's probably going to slow down and not work as well. I know that this is a video game, and that's not how it works. And smartphones weren't a thing when this game came out. But that's what's going on in my mind right now, because my cell phone is super slow, because I have so many pictures of so many wonderful things. What's up? Ooh, a medical facility. So Zelka form. Yeah. Still, you're welcome here. 
will not have it said that Zelka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Why not? Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Can I stab you with my Except sword? The rat ghoul disease. Ooh, what's the rat ghoul disease? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. Yeah. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible uh -huh. monsters that mm -hmm. live in the undercity. But prolonged exposure to the undercity breeds the disease, and those infected naturally mutate into rat ghouls themselves, mm -hmm. becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. That sounds awesome. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on mm -hmm. Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Mm -hmm. Then the Sith arrived. They if I could just ah. get my hands on a sample of that serum, the rat ghoul disease you could be wiped from the face. Ooh. I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is. Communism. It hardly matters anyway. But I don't yes. see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. Not for Peaches I McClane. The patrols in the undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I Maybe. doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, right. even in the Undercity. PJ McClane isn't afraid of anything. Uh, I'm going to tell him I'm going to get it for him, but I think it's because Please I can... don't say that. I only oh, mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Nope. I'll be going now. Goodbye, and good health to you. Adios, loser. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door. Hey, I know these guys. The Republic soldiers. You recognize these soldiers? But how? Ooh, I threat. What? No, you don't tell. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What hmm. choice did I have? You could not. Their take injuries them. are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here they're hidden away from the Sith. Yeah, well, okay. for that you have my thanks. It's what? Good to know Karth, that I did not even ask you. Karth, go away. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered uh -huh. these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned. So it may be my fears are unfounded. Oh. Oh, it's no, definitely going to cost you. The Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this... I don't take orders from you, Carth Onassi. Fine. Take these credits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I understand some extra credits might help us yeah. in the mission, but I don't approve of your methods. I don't so care if you approve of my methods or not, Carth. I'm you got your credits. Now please show yourself up. Ah, whatever. I got dark side points and a hundred credits. Woo, man, Carth, you'd be singing a different tune if you knew that those hundred credits are what got you your brand new armor. I forgot to equip, by the way. Combat suit. Plus five dexterity bonus. Boom. Ah, no, I don't need this. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Hey, look, we match. That's stupid. I need one. Okay, okay. Journey, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah. You sound skeevy. I do want to hear it. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rackles. Davik, huh? Davik can. Mm, I like the sound of that. I don't want to help people know. Where can I find Davik if I'm not going to cure? Davik the kind of guy you can just walk up to. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul serum to Zax. Zax. He okay. runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. All right. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just, if you yes. find the Rat Ghoul serum, just take it to Zax. I don't like him in Cartman. He keeps saying nice he things. Works for He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Good to know. Good to know. All right. I like the sound of that. Wait a minute. We can make some money. We can make, make progress on this journey. To the Upper City North. All right. Keeping going. All right, so we've made some progress on the dark side front, trying to get a little bit more evil. 
Oh, 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 dark. According to Jonathan, the dark side is the way to go. Jonathan's theory that all people are the same, which is just inherently wrong, but I won't get into that right now. Uh, we're going to open this standard door. Ooh, more apartments. That means more opportunities to steal things. And you know how I love stealing things. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. We're going to... Well, ooh, those security door. I'm just going to bash this door in. As you've noticed, knowing security hasn't really helped. Ooh, what do you want, Lardo? Please don't hurt me. Yeah? You don't have to kill me? I'll have Davik's money if he, if he just gives me a little you've more got time. got money for Davik. Please. I wonder if Here. I'm... I've got 50 yeah. credits on me. <laughs> uh, give me the credits and I won't forget. Take the credits. I know we might need credits, but there's No, there's not, Karth. Karth, there is no better way to get credits than stealing them from people. Stealing is the only way. That I mean, like really when you think about it, is there a better way? We're just getting eviler, eviler. Now, one of the frustrating things about this game is that as I get more evil, Karth will stay just as happy-go-lucky nice to everybody. Which is a little frustrating, because I don't want Karth to be nice to people. I don't want Karth around at all. Karth is a stupid character, so as soon as we can get rid of Karth, we're gonna get rid of him. Okay, because he's just, he's just too much of a voice of reason. I want somebody on my team who wants to kill as many civilians as I do. You know? Alright, alright, alright. I would have had you not said something, but now... I am only a visitor to Terrace, trapped here by your quarantine. I know nothing about the Teresan underground or your missing Sith uniforms. I bet that dude's lying. What's going on in there? It does concern me because it sounds like I can kill some innocent people. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the blood stains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Man, exposition as ever. Why, like, why, why, why would he say that? Like, I, I'm just a stranger. You know. Oh, yeah, do whatever you want. I swear I don't know what you mean. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. No! <laughs> Silence. Oh, they better be. I could use some uniforms. I've heard getting uniforms is a. Uh... What do you want, civilian? Do you have any information? Uh, uniform. What are you talking about? Ha 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 I knew you were a spy. I'm not a spy. Honestly, I want to join your ranks, man. You guys are so cool. You guys are awesome. I wish I had that awesome uniform. That's why I'm fighting you. TV8. Oh, Karth, you killed everybody. See, this is why it's no fun to work with Karth, because Peeves McClane doesn't get to show how great he is. Look at all this stuff. Great, great grenades. Um, we will get a new member of the team that I can turn into just a wonderful grenade using awesomeness uh, sometime soon. So, don't worry. We, there's a reason for the grenade purchasing. We will get another member of our team, and she is also stupid because she's all super light side, but she will be our demolitions expert until we get our dark side companion, and he's a blaster user and he's super awesome, and I can't remember his name, but we'll meet him here soon though. Uh, we won't get him until we get off this godforsaken planet. So, um, or as we're getting off this planet, really, is when we get a Candorous Ordo. That's his name. We're going to have Candorous on our team because Candorous likes to kill people just like I do. <laughs> oh, a family fighting. This is what I like. This is what I live for. Families torn apart because they did not join the dark side. You ain't supposed to be here. What? This ain't your home. You guys are supposed to be fighting with each other. Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Why are you British? She's probably related to the Kenobis. That's what it is. That's a theory video right there. Wink. I don't know how to make a little ding sound. But if I could, that's where the ding would go. Jonathan knows how to do all that stuff. I, I'm... I'm a, what we call an amateur, uh, 
but I would put a ding sound right there. Uh, yeah. To the upper city north. So that was our work there. We got some dark side points. That was exciting. Now we're moving on uh, to the next step. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, so again, we've been getting these dark side points, and that's been exciting. I think there's another opportunity right here. There's some guys who are drunk, and I can just elect to like murder them, which is kind what of cool. Is this coming to, huh? Schlummy's just walking around the upper city. You, you calling me a schlummy? You calling me a schlummy? Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. Oh, these for upper city citizens. You I didn't realize you know that this for was for upper city citizens. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not buying you a drink. If you guys are looking for a fight, you've got one. Great, we're fighting the drunks, are we? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, Schlummy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up in our turf. Oh, you call me a Schlummy. You can die. When? A yeah. <laughs> Dark side. Dark side. Okie dokie. Checking these remnants. Five credits. I wish you'd get, like, booze from them. That would be hilarious if you could, like, there was a little Easter egg where you could get booze. Now, up here, there's this conspiracy theorist, and you can sit here and talk to him for a while, but it's really just like talking to Jonathan, so we're going to avoid that. Um, because he doesn't do anything. Like, there's no quest that comes from it. There's no nothing. Um, so this is the way to the lower city, which I think is where we're going to end this episode. I might go ahead and record another episode right after this, so if I don't get to your comments then that's why, because I just recorded them back to back. Um, I might not. I'm going to see what's over here and if there's something cool I can do before I go over there. I think, oh, there's a droid shop. The droid shop will come in handy. We will get a lovely team member from this place at some point. Um, there's all these incomplete droids. And then you come over and talk to this lady, and I think she speaks English. <laughs> now, a customer, come in. Janice Nall at your service. Welcome to my droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of the terrorist citizens won't even come in here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a toilet. Well, then why on earth did you set up business in this area? This is... Ah, whatever. Uh, you know what? I don't really care about your strife. I'm just going to see what you have in stock. Bit limited right now. Okay. Uh, no, assault, no assault droids, but I've got a utility droid you might find interesting. Um, utility droids, what do they do? They make great vehicle repairs. For start, it's pretty handy to have in a fight. Small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. We might add a droid to our team from this lady's shop. Um, uh, you never condone anything illegal. I kind of like you. You seem like fun. I will... Hold on. Can I kill you for one of them? Tell me about that T3M4. The T3M4 is the best utility droid ever built. Top notch code breaker, expert security programming, and droid repair skills. He's even got the firebot power to be handy in battle. This little guy is the absolute top of the line, but he's not for sale. He's a custom job. I'm holding for a very special buyer. Alright, I'll be going. I'm not going to waste my money on your other droid because I'm going to tell you all something. If you buy it, then as soon as you walk out of this door, it explodes. So we're not going to do that. Um, so, yeah, there was nothing to do there. So we're on to the next area, which is going to be the lower city, where we're going to start meeting some swoop gangs and some really exciting stuff. Um, but in order to get there, there's authorization of allowed into the lower city. Oh, exposition. I'm just saying if I put on a suit uniform, I'll be able to go downstairs. Oh, well, okay, I'll be going now. Alright. Let's see, look at all this. We already did all that. We're just gonna go to my inventory and put on that sexy armor I got. <clears throat> look at me. Woo! Look at that booty. Look at that. Ooh, dead ass. Look at that. Sexy as hell. Alright. Experience points for what? So we're going to go into the lower city, but as soon as we get down there, there's going to be a quest that starts up, so I'm not actually going to record that. We're just going to go ahead and take a look at how evil we've gotten. Peaches McLean has gotten a little bit dark, and this little bit of peach-colored uh, smoke is forming around us, so that's very good. That's a good sign. Unfortunately, we're still here with Karth, who is 
just so happy to work for the Republic, but Peaches McLean getting darker, standing a little bit more brooding, and uh, wearing Sith armor is where we are right now. So until next time, guys, this is Tyler as Peaches McLean signing off.